Good morning. Should be able to hear me. Morning, everybody. Just finishing up my breakfast. Nice hot cup of joe. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas in uh, in April. Good cup of joe. For sure. Hello. What's up, Sugar Plum? I'm just finishing my breakfast, so don't mind me eating. I didn't do StreamYard today, so I can't hide. What you see is what you get today. How are you today? Mail my package. Cool. Thank you, Mary. Appreciate that. Morning, Rocco. Did you bring your coffee, Bubba? Merry Christmas, Rocco. <laughs> oh, that just was the that was the next cup in rotation. It just is what it is. If you watch, I'm, I'm live seven days a week. You're going to see the Merry Christmas cup maybe twice in a week, possibly. I have a bunch of regular coffee cups that I um, just unpacked out of all my crap that I washed. <coughs> Plus, like I said, my landlord gave me a nice set of of uh, whatchamacallit, you filthy animal. Oh, excuse me. All right, so we have usual suspects, right? What's up, Bud Files? Good morning. Usual suspects. Let's do it. This is part of my repertoire. I do it every day. It's boring, but you know what? It's, I love it. So I have my coffee. Steamy. 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 Look at the steam. Oh, I know you like that, Rocco. That's like, that's like, like coffee porn. That's how coffee should be drinking, piping hot, not cold. When it gets like, while we sit here, we're bullshit, and I go, I need to go get more coffee. Sometimes I have this much, but it's just cold because I'm running my mouth, and it gets cold, and I can't drink it. It's just gross. Uh, I have my chocolate, chocolate, sixteen gram. Protein drink. Cracked a little of that already. You know, the, the Aguas. The brand. The ShopRite brand. Ball and Basket. Spring Water. Uh, no, I am not sponsored by ShopRite brand. I am not. But I'm going to blow them up because it's the cheapest water I can find. So there you go. Good morning. And thank you, ShopRite brand coffee, uh, water. <laughs> Once again, Top Care. Not a sponsor of my channel. If you'd like to, that'd be great because I show off your product every single day. So take it into consideration. I only have 650 subs, but you could sponsor my channel if you'd like. Here's my plug for the day. Hello, Skipjack Cindy. How are you, how are you doing this morning? I hope you're doing well. It's good to see you. Very, very cool show last night. That was fun. I had a good time. I left for a little bit. I went to go to my friend's birthday um I heard they scratch, but battle, no, not battle, but she was doing tickets for her birthday. And I, I told you I'm a man of my word. So I promised I'd go and I went for a little bit and, uh, and I came back by you and it was fun. That was, I'll tell you, you didn't catch anything, but, uh, I have, I have to, I have to admit, I have to agree with a lot of your subs over there, man. It's, I don't, I don't know a lot of your content cause I'm new, but, um, if I had to pick, that would be my number one, my number one viewed live of, of your, of your lives. I've seen two. And that one was pretty epic. Good times. Everybody's hilarious. They have a good time. It's fun. Um, hi, Mary. My my little sugar plum. Can you guys hear me? Can you hear me? I'm fine. Yes. Give me a thumbs up, please. 
I dipped four frogs from the pool cover. Oh, wow. On the way home, ready for WrestleMania this weekend. Yes, sir. What's up, Steven Scratcher? What's going on, brother? People from all kinds of content. Yeah, you know what? I was talking to um, uh, Gail. Gail, is that it? The one from Jersey also? Yeah, he hit me up um, on the side there and uh, left a comment. And he saw my live from earlier, you know, in the evening about my, uh, you know, my news and everything about my sickness. And he goes, oh, man, it's crazy. It's like the first thing I go on and to comment on your thing. And I see this. He's like, I'm so sorry. I was like, nah, man, it is what it is. You know, it's my I was here celebrating, believe it or celebrating good news with my with my little family. And. Um, yeah, but uh, I'll tell you, it was I had a really good time, Cindy. Um, I, I said it like four times before I left, but thank you so much for having me because it was really fun. I don't know what happened to Pops. Maybe he forgot. I'm not sure. Cue the Barry White music. <laughs> That's funny. Why'd you say that, Rocco? Cue the Barry White music. Drinking my coffee. Drinking my cup of coffee, waiting to go aboard my airplane. Where are you headed, Stephen? Going out on a hunt somewhere. <clears throat> but yeah, very fun, Cindy. Very, very fun. I enjoyed myself. I really did. You know, you could say I'm, I'm a very outgoing person. So Travis caught a channel cat. Oh, really? That's cool. Good. Um, it's just somewhere I feel that I can go and be myself and be comfortable. You don't find that all the time, you know. You could be that way here too, Cindy. Like that's how we are here. We're all we're all uh, little little family members over here. We're all we're all good friends, family. I call them family. Uh, we all know what's going on in each other's lives, pretty much, you know. And uh, yeah, just feel comfortable here. I, I, I'd love for you to feel comfortable here. Too. Coffee porn remark made me laugh because <laughs> that's coffee porn, man. When you see that, look, I'll do it again. Probably still hot enough. I'll bet you it's just running low. I don't know if you're going to see the steam like you did before. I'm running my mouth. See, I told you it's it's not as not as piping hot as it was before. It happens. Yeah. Uh, coming home from Detroit. Oh, all right, Stephen. Cool. Getting home just in time for this uh, WrestleMania weekend. I can't wait. I have to go to treatment tomorrow, which sucks because I don't know how I'm going to feel. But I guess my place ain't a bad place to be tomorrow if I feel that crappy. I'm just lay in bed because usually when I get my treatment, I, I don't feel good for a couple of days. Like beats me up, and I explain what I mean by beat me up. Cindy, if you don't know, it it, it beats me up. It, it just uh, it, it knocks the shit out of me sometimes when I go for my treatment for you know sometimes three four days, sometimes a week. It just is what it is, you know. And uh, it's, it's helping me. So like I said, getting that good news yesterday um, makes the makes the four or five days after I get a treatment not as bad, knowing that it's helping. So. Yeah, that being said, uh, I'm, I'm going to be in front of my TV Friday night. I already told my dad <clears throat> we're going to go to the house afterwards. My sister's taking me to my treatment tomorrow. It's 11 a.m. So I got to leave here by like, she'll be here by like 10. I don't even know if I'm going to go live tomorrow morning. If I do, it might be for like a half hour just to say hi. But um, she'll probably be here by like 10 or so and then um, hang out for a little bit, have a cup of coffee, and then we're going to head to the treatment. Um, I won't be home. Well, I'm going to go to my parents' house afterwards because my mom and my brother have no idea um, about the news yet. So I want to. I told my dad to be quiet about it, and I want to break it to him tomorrow. And my sister don't know, so I'm going to tell her in the morning when she gets here. And then my mom and my brother, when we get there, tell them the news. And uh, treatment's usually – I'm usually there about four hours, usually. Believe it or not, my, my IV infusion is 30 minutes. But I'm usually there about three, four hours. It's it's insane. It's a crazy process. Did you see the Rangers Devils brought? Nah, I didn't see. It. I didn't. I didn't put any TV on this morning at all. I just put it on when I came into the living room. I actually shut the TV off, and I never shut the TV off. But last night I could not fall asleep. I was up till two in the morning. I had a bowl of potato ham soup that I made yesterday. I had a bowl of soup at like twelve thirty. Crazy, right? I just couldn't sleep. I don't know. I think it was all the good news and just overwhelming emotions and. I just couldn't sleep. And then I finally, you know, I knocked out probably like one or two o'clock, woke up at seven and I'm like, no, 
I'm going back to bed. So I laid back down, woke up about, I don't know, about 45 minutes ago, an hour ago. But part of me, like I said, I just want to finish my breakfast. It's on the stove. It's next to your lasagna. There you go. You would have a better answer. I'm a wise guy, Mary. Got to be, got to be prepared for it. I'm quick, and as I'm getting better, I'm getting not, you know, I'm still sick, but as I'm getting better, I'm getting faster. Your soup is next to my lasagna, my sugar plum. <laughs> no, it's, on, it's not actually on the stove. It's uh, it cooled down nice overnight because I had the window open in the bedroom, and it was like the cool air was just blowing right towards the right towards the stove. Believe it or not, as it goes right through into the kitchen. And it cooled this, uh, all the soup down. It's nice and cool today, so I'm going to package everything up. I'm going to have a um, a container full for my dad, you know, my dad, my mom, my brother, whatever. I'll have a nice container for them. Um, my friend uh, Julia, she's going to we're going to hook up on Saturday and go for a coffee. I haven't seen her in so long. She's a part of my life too, and a very good friend. So we're going to hook up for a cup of coffee Saturday, seeing how I feel from the treatment, but. I told her I made soup, so she said she'll take some, so I'll give her some, and I'll have a container or two for myself, and that's it. And then, and then after I pack all that up today, I'm going to put on the pot of, I'm going to clean the pot out, and then I'm going to make the um, split pea. Hopefully, I do that today. If I don't do that today, then I'm going to do that next week, but I, I really want to do it today. I just want to see how I feel the rest of the day. Um, I would love to just get it on, because it's pretty simple. I mean, I just have to cut up all the veggies and... I just, I don't know. Okay, I submit. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Mm. Dang good sandwich. My goodness. I was, I was talking to the, the lady yesterday. That gave me the good news. My pain and palliative woman. Very sweet lady. I was telling her um, about me gaining weight, that I'm getting concerned that I'm putting too much weight on. She said, well, she said, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Because unfortunately, if I wasn't eating like I am now, and, you know, I don't want to diet. And, you know, listen, I'm poor, so my, my choice of foods aren't the best. But When this all started, I was 265, somewhere around there. And I, I had lost like 35, 40 pounds just uh, dieting before I got sick. And then once I got sick, I, uh, I lost a lot of weight. I lost, uh, all right, I was 265. I went down to like 168 at my lowest when I was in the hospital in December. It was 168. I'll, I'll never forget that number. 168. I cried. I was on a scale. I cried. I was just like, wow, I can't, you know, like, it's amazing how crazy this disease can be to people's bodies, you know? So another, you know, another thing was I wasn't eating right in my old place. You guys already know, you know, I'm just rehashing other old stuff, but then I moved here and I just, uh, different situation completely. No, no, no stress, no, um, having to worry about another human except for myself, you know, like my ex, my ex roommate had a lot of a lot of issues and that, you know, kind of fell on my lap too and kind of sucked. But, you know, being a responsible, good friend, I tried to help, didn't work out. And it actually, in the end, hurt me. So I, uh, when I moved here, I started eating well. My body feels like I'm in quicksand this morning. Well, wow, that's weird. Why is that? Is that a little bit of vertigo? I hope not. When the weather breaks, take a little walk when you feel like it. I, I'm gonna. I'm, I already talked about it yesterday with Pop, so we're gonna get out there. I'm gonna do some fishing. I'm gonna start doing walks with my friend Julia. We're gonna go to the um, on the weekends. We're gonna go to the flea market. It's usually down at the by the stadium there on a Saturday. Big full parking lot. It's it's, it's huge. But um, what was I saying? Let me finish my uh, train of thought here before I forget. Uh, so when I when I moved when I moved here, I had a little bit better um, clear mind to do what I wanted, and you know everything was mine. I didn't have to split anything with anyone. It just it was a lot better situation for me. So I started eating better, and since I moved here, I've gained probably twenty something pounds. 
which is very, very good. And she said that's a big part of um, uh, big part of battling battling this disease too is to you know eat keep keep fuel in your body you know because you're fueling your body to fight against it and um, yeah sorry I just lost this. I lost my train of thought because I looked at the chat real quick um, it's a strange sensation though I'm sure it is I, I felt that way before and uh, for me I, I think that's like a little bit of vertigo sometimes um, it's it's a weird feeling but I, to be honest with you Rocco I felt that in my life a couple times it's kind of I know it's strange but I think it'll be okay just you know are you sitting down make sure you're sitting down so you don't pass out or anything like that but uh yeah that being said that's all i'm going to talk about um my illness or anything i just uh i didn't mean to bring it up for any reason i just wanted to make an example that what she was telling me you know and i, I and i explained to her that um uh, i eat i eat taylor ham and cheese every morning every morning maybe once in a blue moon i'll have a I have a bowl of cereal, but I eat that every morning because I'm not one to eat bacon. A lot of people, she's like, oh, you can eat, you know, bacon, egg, and cheese. You'll get the protein, get the fat. It's good for your body. And I said, I'm not a big bacon person. So I eat Taylor ham and cheese, sometimes Taylor ham, egg, and cheese every single day for the last, I don't know how many months, uh, two months since I've been here. And uh, it's been helping. You know, I eat a decent lunch. I put a lot of fruit in my body, uh, a lot of good vitamins. So I'm doing the right thing, you know. I'm doing the best I can, really. I just don't want to go over. I think the ultimate end of that story was I told her, is I don't want to go over 200 pounds. So I really need, you know, now I'm, I wear 200 pretty well. Um, when I was 300, no. I showed you guys pictures. I was very heavy, very out of shape, sick all the time, always getting colds, always getting bronchitis, getting this, getting that. I mean, plus I smoked and I drank. You know, my, she checked my lungs yesterday. She said, it's crystal crystal clear and um, that's to me that's amazing in itself thank the lord above quitting smoking i know it was because i got cancer but i'll tell you what that was the best thing i ever did the day i got news i quit that same day that's it i put the cigarette down the pack threw it in the garbage i said here dad you want them because he smokes still and he's like nope throw them away this is your goodbye party to cigarettes and i said okay and I, my nephew whispered in my ear uncle jerry you don't need this anymore get rid of it uh, I love you, and that was it. And that was the same day I got my diagnosis. I quit. So best thing I ever did. Like I said, unfortunately, it took getting cancer to do it. But you know what? In the long run, I can go into remission. I can get better from cancer. If I didn't stop smoking, probably would have done even more damage to myself. So I'm pretty happy that I uh, that I did quit because under the circumstances, a lot of people would would have used the cigarettes as a crutch. You know, as a when you're stressed out, you know, that's when I smoked a lot, to be honest with you. And when I drank, I smoked a lot. And then, you know, stressed, you know, is, is a bad thing. Um, I quit on Easter Sunday, like 13 years ago. Good for you, man. And I'm, I guarantee you, you, you probably say it every day. It was the best thing you ever did. Ankles feel tingly, might be my diabetes. Well, get, get a little sugar in you or something. Hi, Miss Marilyn. How are you? Good morning. Um, so, yeah, definitely the best thing, I, you know. Like I said, if, if I say it all the time to my dad, I say, you know, if I didn't, if I didn't get diagnosed with cancer, I probably never would have stopped smoking cigarettes. But in a way, you know, I don't want to say I'm glad I got cancer because nobody will ever say that. But I'm just, I'm just, I just say I'm glad I quit smoking. Period. Because I don't know, I, I didn't smoke an awfully lot. But if we went fishing and I had a couple tall boys, you know, I had my 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 bud my bud lights, three four big boys couple little bourbon shots, get a little buzz on, smoke a little pot, you know. Next thing you know, freaking you buy a pack, you know, at the liquor store while you're getting all your other crap. Next thing you know, you look and you're like, damn, man, I only have like five cigarettes left. How did I smoke 15 cigarettes in three hours? Like, that's a lot. That's a lot, you know. And, and it got to be disgusting, and, and I hate it now. I actually I despise it. I Some people quit and like, oh, I, I still like the smell. No, I hate it. I get mad at my dad, but, I you know, I can't get mad at him because – you know, he helps me out with so much, but you know, I hate the smell. I, I, it's that it's, you know what it is. I think about how other people thought about it that didn't smoke. I think that's, that's, you know, when you quit, you think about that. When you smoke, you don't think about other people. It's like what their reaction is or what they, you know, how it smells or, cause when I smoke cigarettes, I'm like, Oh, it smells great. You know, like, Oh my God, thank God I had a, you know, I wake up in the morning. First thing I wouldn't even have my coffee and you guys know how much I love my coffee. <clears throat> Thanks Rocco. But I wouldn't even have the coffee on yet. I'd have a cigarette in my lip already burning by the time I even put the water in the pot. Like, 
just crazy, man. It's it's a really, really hard habit to break. It really is. And it takes something dramatic in your life to stop. And like I said, you know, unfortunately mine was getting sick. But I'm happy because I think in the long run, if I if I didn't get sick from cancer, I uh I think I would have I would have had a, a heck of a lot more complications because I was three hundred pounds. I drank I drank not a lot lot, but I drank, you know, I was I'm a casual drinker, you know. I, I didn't I didn't drink to to get wasted, you know. I, I drank to get a little buzz, hanging out, fishing with my dad. Don't don't get me wrong, if I worked all week, but if I was uh, my days off, two days off a week, I was fishing those days with pop. And we'd have beers, I'd have bourbons and cigarettes and forget it. Just bad, 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 bad. Just a bad road, I'm telling you. Good morning. How you doing, Meshek? What's up, sweetheart? Hope you're having a good day. <clears throat> Thank you for coming through. Finally hung up the fish. Or uh, Did you see it yesterday? I think you saw it yesterday. Damn proud of you. I'm proud of you too, Rocco, because it's not easy, man. It's, it's very hard. But like I said, when, when I personally think the best way to quit is cold turkey, unfortunately, it takes something dramatic for you to do it. Like I said, under my circumstance, you know, it's, it is what it is, but I did it one other time. I quit once, I don't know, maybe 15, 10, 15 years ago. I just said, you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not smoking anymore. And that was it. I put the pack, I threw them in the garbage. I even put them under the faucet. I wet them all. And I, and I made sure that I couldn't go get them like five minutes later if I changed my mind. And, um, at the time there was no store really close to my house. So I couldn't like just walk to the store when I got pissed. So I was like, you know what? That's it. I'm done. And I threw them away. And, um, but I didn't for six months, I didn't have a beer. I didn't have a bourbon. I, um, didn't go out to the bars like I did. Um, I lived a boring life for six months for six months. And at that time I was younger. So, I mean, I loved going out, you know, even if it was just, you know, after, after the, after work, going to have a couple of beers with my friends at the bar, it was just a thing to do. It was fun. We used to play trivia, bingo, all this other stuff. And, um, I'll tell you what, I don't, I don't miss it for, for anything. Yeah. No. The problem was, I think, I don't know what happened that triggered me to go back. Um, something dramatic. It's, it, see, it's a dramatic thing. It's a dramatic thing that makes you quit, and then it's a dramatic thing that'll make you start again. And I don't remember what it was. I think it was somebody in the fa- I don't know if it was somebody in my family got sick, or I don't remember, to be honest with you, exactly what it was. Or, fr- or I think one of my friends passed away, and um, I was devastated. And I said, you know what? I need a drink, and I wound up having a couple of beers. And then I just said, screw it. And I bought a pack of smokes. Like I bummed a cigarette for my friend. I said, give me one, man. I'm stressed out. I need one bed. I'm sorry. You know, I quit for six months. I had one. That was it. I was right back in it. <clears throat> yes, I'm okay. Many stayed up late. So I'm in bed. That's cool. Yeah, I was just in bed before and then I couldn't sleep. I was up late. Should have texted me. Actually, you don't have my new number, Ms. Shek. I got to give you my new number too. Um, you have my email, Ms. Shek? Or let me hold on. Let me see. Let me see my phone for a second. Oh, Miss Terry texted me. Oh, let me see what's going on here. And my friend Julia said it's a chilly morning. I uh, hope you're feeling well this morning. Chilly morning. It's so windy out there, but at least the weekend looks nice. Oh, that's good. All right, cool. Okay, awesome. All right, so we're going to get together tomorrow. Go get a cup of coffee, I think. What did Miss Terry say? We lost power. Oh, crap. She lost power. Okay. Um, okay, everybody. Uh, Terry said to say hi to everybody in the chat. Um, she's sorry she can't make it. But they, uh, she lost power. She said she's behind the eight ball. So she's uh, just say a prayer for her. And um, she says she loves everybody. And she'll try to catch us later if the power comes back on. If not, tomorrow. All right, Miss Terry, I love you too. And um, I hope everything works out for you, sweetheart. <clears throat> hope you get your power back soon if you hear me. And I told everybody, said hi. But the purpose of going on here, Miss Shack, was... Yeah, I do. Okay, but let me see if I have you in here. Hold on. If I have you in my phone. Uh, I think I do. But I think I had... When I transferred everything over, I had to do it all manually. It took me like friggin' two hours in one day. But whatever. I have nothing but time. 
Where are we? Um, I no, I don't. Let me see if you're under the S's. I don't think so. No, I don't have your number. All right, send me an email, and then send me an email with your cell phone number, and I'll put you in, and I'll send you a text back saying it's me. All right, because I had I had two of them of you, I think, and I didn't know which one was the right one. I don't know why that was, but it is what it is. Send me an email and um, the joy of technology. Yeah, you ain't lying. I'll tell you, because the, I went from my Samsung, and then uh, my landlord comes down. And he goes, oh, your ex-roommate, whatever, they're friends. And he's like, oh, he um, he's going to he's gonna shut the phone off, so just be prepared just so you can, you know you have your contacts and all that stuff. So by the time I got to it, um, uh, oh, it was like a matter of like, he goes, oh, this is going to be a matter of like an hour. So he's like, I'm just giving you a heads up. So I, I went and um, took my other the, – the government phone I had and I went page by page as I could scroll and I just screenshotted everything. And then I went back later on and I started putting everything in because I couldn't get it off the, um, the sim crazy, man. It took me like two hours, but you know what? That is what it is. Like I said, I have nothing but time. So <clears throat> both are good. Okay. Well, just send me the one near, send me your main, your main one, whatever one it is. At least if we are able to go for coffee on Saturday, it will be nice outside. Okay. That's great. Looking forward to it. I really am. I'm really looking forward to it. She's a sweetheart. We, we've been friends for 20 years. We've been friends for over 20 years, and uh, she's a sweetheart. And uh, she's the one that gave me this. She bought me this coffee table and two end tables off her neighbor. The neighbor was like, oh, I'm moving if you need anything. And she thought of me because she knew I moved in. And um, she's like, I know you need a coffee table and a couple end tables. If you're interested, you know, I'll buy it for you as a gift. I said, okay. And, uh, yeah, she's a sweetheart. I'm getting on with my day. Have to run to the thrift store to drop off donations and try to sell my theater sound bar and wireless keyboard to get some cash. Be well. See you later. You got it, Rocco. Have a good day, brother. My pie's on. Be good, man. Mary, you still here, sweetheart? I want you to know I, I didn't want you to think I didn't see your comment before I did. You said that you sent out the you sent out my package. Uh, I appreciate that. I just gotta let Pops know. Because everything that I have sent, I don't have anything sent here. Everything gets sent to my parents. I don't want anyone knowing where I live. Better that way sometimes. Oh, man. Good cup of coffee today. I had a little bit of the white cream left over from, uh, that I used for the potato soup. So I said, oh, I'm going to say I saved just a little bit in the, in the, just for like, I don't know, a cup or two of coffee. I don't really like cream in it, but sometimes I do. It's a little rich for my taste, but. Oh, man. Yeah, what'd you hit on um what'd you hit on baby dolls, Miss Shack? I saw a video she put up this morning. They said rolling on Miss Shack or something. You guys you guys hit a nice winner or something. I have to go watch that video later. So yeah, I'm not I'm not looking forward to I am looking forward to tomorrow because I love hanging out with my sister. But um she makes it fun when we go for treatment. She just laughs and giggles, and we just have fun. But I, I hate going for treatment. It sucks. I just was there the other day getting friggin' needles and shit in my arms, and I have to go again and get more needles and give blood and get friggin' IVs ran. It sucks. I, I, I'm not looking forward to it at all. I have to. She hit the win, win all on Clue. Oh, cool. What'd you guys hit? How much? You say $5. It's got to be more than $5. What was it, a $5 ticket? Yep, it'll be several days. The mail's right. Yeah, it's okay, Mary. It's all good. <clears throat> it's fine. My dad will let me know. I got you send me a package. Uh, Angel Scratcho sending me a package. Um, Scratch and Wolf. Uh, D-Man. I got like three or four things, three or four people sending me stuff. <clears throat> 
I thought Terry said she was sending me something too. I can't. I don't know. For some reason, I thought I heard her say that the other day. Not heard her say it, but write her. Write it. I can't talk this morning. <clears throat> um. Well, I want to do this. I, I hope nobody gets mad or whatever the case may be. But it is what it is. If you do, you shouldn't. He said, if you can't, you don't do it. But I'm going to put my... I don't think you can hit a link. See, I don't know. How can we do this? Miss Sheck, you're savvy when it comes to... Um, you've helped me out with a lot of shit um, tech-wise. So I, I want to drop my GoFundMe link in here, but YouTube doesn't allow it to become a link, I don't think. Like, you can't click it. So how could I do that? I don't know. I'm going to try. I'm going to try to drop it in the chat. Let me see what happens. <clears throat> I want to see what happens. I don't know. Let's see. Because I th somebody told me that you can't. YouTube doesn't recognize it as a link. But let me see what happens. Okay. Stop echoing. Ticket love scratch. Hi, all. Walking in the winter wonderland here in Massachusetts. <laughs> nice. Did you guys get snow, Katie? How are you? All right, so let me see. I just put it in the chat. Okay, it is underlined, so I think you can hit it. Okay. Now let me see if I can... Let me see if I could pin it. If I could pin it up top. Let me see. Pin message. Okay, so now it's pinned to the top. There you go. <clears throat> All right, I guess you can. I don't know. Somebody told me you couldn't uh, put it in as a link. It would come up like without a underlined link, but I guess it worked. Yes, we are getting snow. Okay, that's cool. It's clickable. All right, good. Yeah, like I said, it's going to be there. If you want to help, you help. If you don't, it's understandable. But I need I need big helps. I need I need a thousand dollars by April first. <laughs> I don't know how we're going to do it. I'm going to have to pimp myself out or something. <laughs> It's an HTTP. I should be able to click it. Yeah, Mishak said it's clickable, so that's good. Thanks, Mary. Uh, hope you're doing good, Katie. It's good to see you. Um, I don't think you were here yesterday. I don't know if did you see my live from yesterday with the good news, Katie. I got really good news from my um, my one doctor. My actually my pain management doctor. She she snuck a peek at my uh, results. And uh, from my test that I had, and I'm responding very well to the treatments, and um, I have I, all my tumors are still there, but they uh, they're shrinking, so that's good. Uh, we got a very very good news yesterday, so super duper happy. Going forward, I'm going to continue to do treatments, which I go tomorrow. I'm not looking forward to it. I probably said that about five times already, but I'm not looking forward to it at all. I can't wait for the weather to get nice so we can be fishing live. I can't wait. Like I said, I'm hoping the quality is going to be good because I'm probably going to have to use my phone. Because with these government, I have a government phone that's free and the quality isn't great. I tried streaming from it. It's not great. But I want to see. I don't think I get any. Um, when I had the contract phone. AT&T with my buddy, I had uh, what do you call that? Shoot, I can't think of the word. I had uh, hold on, I'll get it. Let me think. Give myself a headache thinking. Um, what the heck was I going to say? Shoot. Uh, when I'm able, when I'm able to hook up my laptop to my phone, what is that called? Uh, Hotspot. I don't think I get. I don't think I get hotspot with this uh, government phone. Highly doubt it. I don't know where to look. What's that, Mishek? I think they could turn off the hyperlinks to certain web pages with certain keywords. Oh, okay. All right. All right. That's cool. Thanks. Well, that's fine. Um, I need to see. See, it's right here. It says hotspot and tethering. 
but I don't know how, where would I look to find out how much hotspot I do have. I don't know what tethering and I never mess with that but the hotspot when you're in portrait mode links aren't clickable it shows up but not like oh really yeah I'm not liking that whole portrait mode thing I tried it the one morning don't get me wrong I probably got a hundred more views than I usually do but uh, I don't I don't know I'm not doing it just because YouTube wants you to and I can't do it for my laptop anyway really I can only go live one way through my webcam but this hotspot I don't know if I get it I'm not really sure. Let me see. Let me turn it on. Let me see what happens. Uh, use Wi-Fi hotspot. Let me see if I can if it comes up on my on my um, laptop as a suggestion. Let me see. If I lose you guys for a second, just I'll be back. Just hang on. I just want to see if it shows up. Mm. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay. Yeah, I see it in the um so, you know, the available Wi Fi's. All right, that's good. But I don't know how many I get. How much data does your phone have? Well these this is a this is a phone that I get from the from Medicare, Medicaid. It's free, unlimited. I get unlimited, um, unlimited everything. Well, let me turn it off for now because I don't want to use it all. But, but I don't know. It doesn't say it anywhere. How about maybe in settings under like uh, about phone? Maybe. Let me see. Bluetooth unavailable. <clears throat> it's uh, from company True Connect, Mishak. <sighs> Go to settings, turn on hotspot. Yeah, I did that, Mary. I found that, and then I was I actually I saw it clickable on my um, under my list of Wi-Fi places, like in uh, on my laptop. So it comes up. It's just. Um, I just don't know how much I get, and you know, because you could only. Um, when, when I use the other phone, put it actually put it to you this way: I don't think I ever used it on the AT and T phone. I don't think I ever did. Um, I used it on when I had my old phone through Boost, and I would get. Let me think. Ten gigs of hotspot, so I was able to go live from the river. Probably, if if it was like an hour, sometimes two hour lives. I don't know, maybe eight, ten times, maybe. I mean, it was pretty. It was awesome because I just bring my laptop, make sure it's you know, make sure it's loaded up, um, charged up good. Uh, hope you're feeling okay today. Hold on one second. My sister's texting me. Um, sorry, y'all. Uh... Oh, come on. <clears throat> I'm sorry. We're just, she's just talking to me about, uh, because she's got to come down from, uh, she lives an hour away, my sister, so she's coming down to um, take me to my treatment tomorrow, give my dad a break. <clears throat> it should be fine, but I'll probably sl it'll probably slow down once you use so much. Yeah, I don't know. I, th I guess I could just give it a shot. I mean, we're probably still like a couple weeks away, almost a month away from going out fishing. 
to be honest. I'm, I don't want to go out there till it's like, you know, 75, 80 degrees because I get cold, man. I get cold too fast. I called my dad, so um, we'll try it. We'll try it. first time. We'll try it. We'll give it a try because I, I don't want to go live from the phone. That's why I, when I used to do it, I did it with my laptop. It was so much fun, man. There's a little platform there, so I just sat my laptop. You remember Meshack, I think, right? You came into a few of them when I went fishing from the river at night. It was fun, man. There's a light right above, so like I was able to see everything and you see the rods. Really, really cool, man. I really enjoyed it. We had some epic chats, man. A lot of fun. I did very well. I'll tell you what, we did very, very good um, numbers wise with those lives. Mm -hmm. I, I, I would get a few hundred views and it would be really, it was really good. All right, shit. I just hit the wrong button. Dang it. Uh, Okay, I'll be by you around 9.30, or is that too late? I could come by 9, send me your YouTube link. Uh, all right, listen, I'm sending my sister the YouTube link. We cannot talk about my results because she doesn't know, okay? So don't know talking about it. Thank you. And, okay. Okay, good. Yeah, don't, because I don't want her. I want to tell her tomorrow. Um, now we need to figure out how to do that now. Oh, man. This is all, like, too much. It's too much for me, because I don't know too much about it. Wait, what's she saying? Come on, Jer. Okay, wait. Your play's by 10. Yes, I can. Sorry, mine. Not My mind's not awake. <laughs> Uh, she's funny as hell, my sister. How do I uh, share up my life? It's a good question. Um, share. Mm, copy link. Text message, sister. There you go. Paste. Boom. Boom. And there we go. Don't say nothing, y'all. Seal them up. Seal them up, sugar plum. All right, let's see if she comes in. If she comes in, she, I don't know what name she'll I don't know if she has. I have no idea. My sister's never come into my life, so I have no idea. If she's going to be under her name, I, I don't know. If it is, it's probably a Jerry, G-E-R-I. If not, then it'll be somebody, another name. I don't know. <laughs> <coughs> Gotcha. All right, cool. Thanks for the six people and five thumbs up. I appreciate you guys. Hit that thumbs up button. Let's get it even. If you forgot, it's okay. Just hit it. That's all I ever ask you, really. You know, all I ask is I've been, Miss Shack knows, a lot of y'all know that I've, I've been trying to do something consistent. There you go. We got six and six. And this is the most consistent I've ever, ever been on YouTube. And I'm getting, I'm getting a lot of, um, wow, man, a lot of y'all forgot. Shit, it went from five to nine. <laughs> um, this is the most consistent I've ever been on YouTube. So, um, yeah, when I go live every day, same time, two times a day, I'm, I'm, the numbers are showing it too. I got a lot of subs in the last uh, couple of weeks. It's it's doing good, and I'm getting a good response. We're gonna start doing uh, trivia on Tuesday. That's gonna be fun. That's gonna be in the afternoon. Um, if that takes off very well, I'm planning on doing a. It's really hard because I'm trying to pick a nighttime, like Friday or Saturday, but there's so many people live. But you know what? Scratch Check always told me. You have to go live when you can go live. So that's what I'm going to do. So if this bingo takes off, we could do it on a, a Saturday night maybe. I say Saturday, not Friday, because I know Friday I do not want to. A lot of people that come in my chat go into FPHs, Florida Profit Hunter, and he's live every Friday night. So I don't. We don't, nobody competes with each other, but it would be a competition because I don't want people to leave his life to come to mine, and I don't want mine to leave to go to his. So it would probably be better on a Saturday. There's a lot of people live on a Saturday night, but I don't think I'm taking anybody away from the gambler at 7 o'clock on a Saturday night when he's going to have 400 people in his chat. You know what I mean? So I'm not worried about that. So I think 
Let's get this trivia. I think this trivia is going to be great and bingo. And I, and I really would love to do bingo on a Saturday night because that would be a lot of fun. That people could bring drinks. You could have a good time, bring snacks, and hang out for a couple hours and do some bingo. I think that would be fantastic. A lot of fun. Right? Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. I can't wait. I can't wait till Tuesday just to try out this first round of trivia. Bingo, like I said, I didn't have a chance to talk about it because a lot of people left yesterday, and there's not a lot of people here right now. But I did the math, and on 15-spot bingo, we'd have to sell each spot for three bucks. So three bucks a, a line, right? Three bucks a, a, a line straight across. So 15 people, or you can get multiple spots if you want. So at minimum, we're going to do five rounds. So five rounds, three bucks, it's $15. If you hit one bingo one time, first one, like first bingo in the round, it's 25 bucks to the winner. Second is 10, third is five. So I looked at it and I told everybody it's, it's not in, it's nothing in it for me. But you know what? I'm going to be doing the work. It's my time too. So at the end of it, there'll be 25 for first prize, 10 for second place, and five for third. That's $40. There'll be $5 left over, so I'll make 5 bucks for myself. At the end of it, after three hours of doing it, and I'll make a few bucks. And you know what? I don't think any of you are going to turn your nose up to that because if you get in all five rounds, it's going to cost you 15 If you hit one round, one, if you hit one for 25 you already made money. You already made profit. So for me, it's worth it. We used to do it at $6 a spot, and – winning spots into a, a big mix you know, or I think, you know, that Miss Shaq, you remember that's Plasti did a lot of that uh, bingo to win spots in, um, in mixes or in a book, you know, so, but that was a lot more. It was $6 a spot. So it was a lot more, there was a lot more money at stake. I don't want to make it that high. Three bucks is reasonable. I think, you know, so that's basically, yeah, it's going to be fun, you know? And, and I, if people are like, Oh, well, why are you making money on it? You know, then don't play, you know what? I got to do something too. I got to do a little side hustle, man. It's five bucks, you know. At the end of it, I'll make what? Twenty bucks? Twenty-five bucks? After three hours? Come on, man. That's nothing. It's nothing. So, it is what it is. Like I said, if it bothers you that I'm making five dollars per round, sorry. I got to do something too. I need to hustle and make some money, man. I'm broke. So, at the end of the day, it's twenty-five bucks. That's I can go buy milk, eggs, and a loaf of bread. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I want to do it because it's going to be fun. I'm not doing it for money. I'm doing it because it's going to be hell of fun. Bingo's cool as hell. I have, a, uh, I have to re-download them because I had it on the old phone, so I got to re-download them again. But I had a couple of different bingo sites that um, Scratch Shack showed me. Really, really cool. They have options: fifteen, um, fifteen spot bingo, twenty spot bingo. There's a bunch of different ones. There's nothing less than fifteen though. That's the minimum that I saw. Um, so it's seven. It's actually what you call seventy. It's 75, 75 spot bingo or 15 spot bingo, whatever you want to call it. But $25 isn't a lot to ask for now. And like I said, if you get in all five for 15 bucks and you hit like in one round, you're like the number one winner, you get 25 bucks. You're already making a profit. You know what I mean? So, and then trivia is nothing to get in. I just ask someone every week to sponsor the, the trivia. It's um, ten dollars. First, first, first winner that has the most points at the end. Number one spot gets five bucks. Number two spot gets five bucks. So it, you can, and that's free to enter. So who the hell doesn't want to win it for five bucks? And you might win it twice. You know what I mean? But you know the bingo is a little more. You know, twenty five bucks is nice. Ten bucks for for second. You know, winner. You can win it multiple times too. I've seen it happen. Knowing me, I'll donate back. That's up to you guys, you know. I discussed that yesterday, too. It's up to y'all, but I want to do it to have fun. But nobody's going to want to get in if it's just for fun. You understand? There might be a few of you that'll do it just for fun. But more people will enter if they have a chance to win 25 bucks, or 10 or 5 bucks. Like I said, top three, top three spots in that round of bingo are going to get paid out. So number one, first winner in the round, 25. Second winner in that round, 10. Third round, 5 bucks. So at minimum, at minimum, if you get the third spot, you're still making two dollar profit. How? How? Like, I, I don't think I don't think it's it's easy for me. Shit, I'd play. 
I definitely play, but I'm not gonna because I can't afford it. I'm doing it to have fun with you guys, something to do for the channel content and to, to make a couple bucks, you know, ain't nothing wrong with that. <clears throat> like I said, if people have a problem with it, don't play. It's that simple. <clears throat> As I've talked about this with scratch check in detail. And like you said, people, some people care about that couple dollars that you make. They friend for one, because they don't understand your situation or they just don't care. So I don't need people like that in my life. Uh, but I'm interested in the trivia because there's unlimited amount of questions from the site. And that's just one site that I found. It's 300 questions at a clip. <clears throat> that's going to be fun. I can't wait to do that. That's going to be real fun. So just progress going ahead is I have a few good ideas. Um, I've been thinking about it for a while now, you know, on, on top of everything else going on in my life, you know. I have to take my meds. Nobody reminded me. <clears throat> it's okay. I got them right now. Um, it's hard. It's really, really difficult when, like, when you start a channel, like a lottery channel, you know what your content's going to be consistent. It's going to be lottery, right? And if it's not lottery and you happen to do a chat that day, <clears throat> so be it. You know, your, your, your audience will understand. But when, you have, but when you have a channel like mine, it's very unique. Where it's just a, you know, um, sit down chat, you know, very hard to, very hard to keep a crowd, you know. So I, I need to come up with ideas to keep people interested in the channel. <clears throat> All right. Cancer meds are in the belly. Well, on their way. Tumor meds, as Pop calls them. He doesn't like to call them cancer meds. He calls them tumor meds. You've been wanting to do bingo long. Yeah, it's true. I've been, it's something I've been trying to do for a very long time. And I think this is the best way of going about it. It's, um, it's cost efficient for everybody. Like I said, it's not putting your pocket out. You know what I mean? You're getting five rounds. Five rounds of bingo is going to be an hour and a half, two hours of fun. And believe it or not, if you get in all five rounds, you have a chance of winning the top one three times technically you do have a chance you have a one in 15 chance of hitting all three that's 75 bucks who's going to turn their nose up to that if it costs you 15 and you and you win 75 i mean is it the odds are probably against you of hitting all three top prize but you know what you can hit number one in the first round third second whatever you're, you're making profit it's you have a very good chance of winning and if you don't win, you got, eventually you will. It's just the way it works, you know. <sighs> oh, it's, that's Miss Shaq. That's a no-brainer. He's one of my best friends on this site. I've known Plassey a long time. We've been through a lot, a lot, lot, lot together. And I gave my sister my link, but she never came in. Okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Maybe she's going to go look at my live from yesterday and be pissed that I didn't tell her the news. Okay, where are we at here? I was just reading the text. Who else is here? I see five people in the chat. Ten thumbs up. Appreciate it. <clears throat> uh, I missed it. What does that say? Once my aunt gets her bingo going, I'll probably go live calling. Oh, cool. Your aunt. Oh, she has a she has a YouTube channel. I just saw that comment. Hey, Mary. Yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. Like, you know, the odds are probably against that happening. You know, three in a row, but you never know. It's a possibility. Shit, it's one in fifteen each round. The odds are the odds aren't that bad. If you think about it, one in fifteen shot to win twenty five bucks. That's not bad at all. That's better odds than scratching a friggin' ticket. I'll tell you that. Overall, anyway. <laughs> uh, the heck show is this? Oh, NCIS uh, New Orleans shows on every morning. 
today is my uh, one of my favorite shows on Ion. Chicago PD. Love that show. Oh, shit. Where? Oh, at her house? Starting a big bingo game, 25K guaranteed. Holy cow. That's crazy, man. That's 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 big. That's huge. Thanks to the eight people in the chat. Ten thumbs up. I appreciate it, guys. Thank you. Thank you for the support. The continued support means a lot to me. Hit that thumbs up helps the channel, y'all. I, I, I tell you guys, it's you guys hear it everywhere you go. Oh, in the building. Okay. You hear it everywhere you go. It's not cliche. It's not. It's not something we say because it doesn't help. That's all I really ask for. Thumbs ups because they helps you stay in the algorithm. And keep some pushing your content out. And if you're consistent and you get the thumbs up from your people, it shows that people are interested. And it shows YouTube that you're getting positive feedback from your channel and they will continue to push you out, keep you in the algorithm. So that's why it's super important if you didn't know why why all of us as hosts say to hit the thumbs up button. That's the reason why. Yep, it helps out a lot. That's the biggest thing that helps your channel, to be honest with you, is... Thumbs up. Interaction. Whether it's thumbs up or thumbs down, it doesn't matter. It still shows interaction. So if you want to be like, yeah, I don't I don't like a F4C's live today. I'm going to hit a thumbs down. I don't care. It doesn't bother me. Okay, Meshach. Thumbs down or thumbs up is the same exact result. It doesn't matter. Neither one of them are, are better than the other. It's exactly the same thing. It shows interaction. It shows that you clicked on my channel, whether it be for a second or it was for an hour. It doesn't matter. You came in and came into the channel. So you gave me a view. Whether whether you enjoyed it or not, it doesn't matter. So that's why a lot of hosts will say that. You can hit the thumbs down if you want. It don't matter. Same thing. It's interaction. But it's, it's the, one of the major contributors to keeping you in the algorithm. I mean, that and being consistent, mainly. Look at I love Angel's coin, man. I think it's awesome, bro. I love this coin. I really do. It's very well constructed, man. Just very awesome coin. Heavy. Scratch is great. It's got a great edge on both sides. Sometimes I have there's a few coins I have that one edge is sharper than the other, but this one is pretty consistent on both sides. Damn dirty twenty. <laughs> but um What's everybody up to this weekend? Any any big plans? I know it's only Thursday, but the weekend's coming. Like I said, uh, for me, it's WrestleMania weekend. Um, tomorrow night, there is a Friday night SmackDown. I, I didn't know if there was going to be. Plus, they got the Hall of Fame induction. So that's going to be great. That's, a, that's the kickoff of WrestleMania is a Hall of Fame Friday. And then um, Saturday night is round one. Of WrestleMania, and then Sunday night is round two, which is going to be a lot of good matches. I'm looking forward to it. I cannot wait. That is the only streaming thing that I pay for. I don't care how broke I am. I pay the five bucks a month for Peacock. I actually canceled it for a few months because there was no, there was nothing that I was interested in and that I paid it for this month. Hey, Flowback, because I wanted to watch WrestleMania something i enjoy so where did that just go why did, why did i just do that why did it go there that's weird nothing planned may go drop a few at the casino one day okay if that's what you're into you know if you like if you enjoy that kind of stuff i was i was never one to really like to go to a casino I never really had money like that to really go either, you know, but if you think about it, like as a gambler, when I worked, you know, and you played scratchies all week, even if you went into a store and spent 10, 20 bucks a day, I mean, at the end of the week, you know, 120 bucks, you could go to, you know, if you have a casino close by, you know, take that hundred bucks and go play in a casino on a slot. You might do better. Who knows? Some people are very lucky when it comes to the casino. Yeah. You're watching it, right? Meshach? That's cool. I can't wait, man. I'm pumped up. I just, like I said, I got treatment tomorrow. I don't know how I'm going to feel, but like I said, even if I feel like total shit, I'll just lay in bed and watch it, you know? I'll still be on YouTube, you know, in the background. 
watching shit, but. Uh, I just scratched a ten dollar. I just scratched a ten dollar ticket. Hit twenty bucks. Good for you, Mary. Congratulations. Congrats, congrats. <clears throat> Four people in the chat. Eleven thumbs up. Thank you, guys. Appreciate the support. <clears throat> and there's going to be more good things coming too in the future. Um, like I said, I need to see the how well this. Um, oh yeah, what's that flow back? Go ahead, ask away. But I have a few other ideas too going forward. I just want to see how well um, the bingo and trivia pop off. Because we can maybe do it. I would like to do bingo a couple nights a week, to be honest. And I think everybody's gonna be more interested in that because there's a little bit more money that you can make. So I would really like for that to take off. Go ahead, uh, ask me the question, Flo Beck. What's up? I got to get these pistachios out of here because I need this container to put soup in. I have four of those, and three of them are going out, which I'm going to need them back eventually. But and I got to stop tomorrow at the Dollar Tree or whatever, and I got to get some more containers because I have the pea soup. That's why I might hold off on making the pea soup until. Um, until the weekend because I'm not going to have the containers. And if I feel like crap for my, for my, um, and WrestleMania, and if I feel like crap, I'm not going to want to do anything. So I'm, I may hold off on making the pea soup until, uh, Monday or Tuesday because the vegetables ain't going to go bad in the fridge. The ham's there. It's got enough sodium. It'll last a few days in the fridge. So yeah, we'll see. Why did my notifications not go out yesterday when I did a stream? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes, um, YouTube won't give you a notification for whatever reason. I don't know why. It happened to me a lot. You know that. I complain about it all the time. Um, I'm not sure. Flowback. I don't know. I saw that you were live, but I didn't get a notification. I just saw it actually this morning when I woke up and I went on, uh, when, you know, on my laptop, it'll, you go on the front page and they'll show you like a lot of different streams that were live or are live. And, uh, said that you were live for, I don't know how much time, but you only had like 15 views or something that I saw. Um, yeah, I don't know. YouTube's been really weird lately, Flo Beck, so I really don't know how to answer that, so, uh, honey. I don't know. It happens to me. The way D-Man explained to me that if they don't, if like like I go live twice in a day, so you're, you're a lot, you get three notifications in 24 hours. So if you think about it, 24 hours, depending when I... If I go early the next day in the afternoon one, it could be going over because that's four, right, in 24 hours. So um, you want to know something, Mary, to be honest with you? When I was doing consistent lottery stuff and I was doing it on a Saturday or Sunday, I had I had better shot with notifications on the weekends, believe it or not. I was one of those statistic. A lot of people say that, too, that the notifications are bad on a weekend. But I, for me, I, I did better. If I did them on a weekend, I don't know why, but, but the answer to your question flow is I, I really don't know. Um, I just know for me, like I said, you get three notifications in a 24 hour period and I'm going live four times. And then D man was saying something about if they process like my morning live, let's say I'm live now, right. Until I don't know what time I get. It's 11 o'clock. If I get off of here, 1130, which I'm probably going to, um, if they have that processed, uploaded and processed before like 2.30, 3 o'clock when I go live again, then a notification should go out. He said that's a big part of it too is if you know if you do go multiple times and they have that, that other live processed, then you should be cleared. But sometimes they don't have it uploaded and processed yet and that affects the notification. That happens to me a lot there in the, in the afternoons. Yesterday, notification both morning and night. Today, we'll see. I don't know. We'll see later on. But like I said, tomorrow, I think my sister's going to get here early, so I'm probably not going to go live tomorrow morning, but I'll I'll do a live when I get back home, maybe. But we might take off tomorrow altogether because um, I'm stopping at my parents after, and then I'm coming home. But if I feel like crap, like I said, I'm doing WrestleMania. So uh, tomorrow might be just lives might be out of the question. And, and I said in the past that um, there's going to be days like that, you know, not often, 
Um, I don't like messing up my consistency, but when I have to go to the doctor or a cancer center and stuff like that, that's obviously more important than YouTube. So I'll have to take the day off. And it's usually on a Friday when I go for treatment anyway. So mostly, most of the time, my day is Friday. You know, there's people there every day of the week all for treatments, but my day is Friday. So <laughs> usually through the week, they're pretty good. Yeah. We'll miss you. Oh, thanks, Mary. It's okay. The absence makes the heart grow fonder. And you know it for a fact. I'll be live Saturday morning at 10 a.m. So uh, actually Saturdays I go live a little later. I try to go 1030 or 11 because it is a Saturday. The weekends I go about an hour later. I try. Sometimes I get antsy because I'm up. You know, I'm so used to being up at a certain time. And then I'm up and sitting here and I'm like, okay, hit it. Hit it, Jer. Hit it. <laughs> but we're getting there, man. We're building a channel. Um, what are we at now? Sure, let me see. Oh, shit. Where am I? I just got a message from the cancer center for what? Looking forward to see you tomorrow starting at 11 a.m. Okay, yeah, yeah. I love how they did. They just, they're consistent. So there's very consistent the cancer center on giving me heads up on everything. It's. I feel like sometimes it's overbearing because they do it a lot during the week, but especially when you, it's your treatment week, like this is the third message I've gotten a week. Like every other day they'll send it to me. We're looking forward to see you on Friday, 11 a.m. for your treatment. I'm like, okay, all right, good. So all right, I already know that, but let me see. Where am I at? I picked up a lot of subs last night at uh, Skip Jack Cindy's. I'm at 636 right now. I'm trying to get up to 750 by the end of um, the end of April. That's that's a hard task. That's about a, it's about a hundred more, 115 more. That's a lot, but I know we can do it. I'm gonna get a couple shout outs and from a few channels, a few bigger channels. Um, and just know if you're listening in and you're new to my channel or new to any channel. Just don't sub to sub. Don't just go and hit the subscribe button and either don't go there or um, go and leave a comment on a video because to YouTube, if you just go and hit the subscribe button and you don't go back, it's going to take it away right away, like either that day or the next day. Leave a comment on a video. It shows YouTube that you actually are interested. You opened up a video or a live and you watched it for a little while. You showed interest. You left a comment. Leave a nice comment, a bad comment, whatever. Um, just don't sub to sub because YouTube doesn't like that. You know, I had some streams where I gained 30 subscribers and then they were all gone the next day because all they did was hit the sub button and left. You know, anybody can do that. So that being said. Just don't sub to sub. YouTube doesn't like it. There's a lot of grow channels out there that that's all they do. And unfortunately, you'll go there and be like, oh, I picked up 30, 40 subs. You know, say like right now, 636 or whatever I said. You know, I can go to a grow channel right now, stay in there for half an hour. I can go up to 700, you know, because all these channels will just go and click. Oh, I subbed, I subbed, I subbed, I subbed because they want you to sub back. But they're not going to sit there and leave a comment on your video. Me, that's the kind of person I am. I'll do that. I'll leave a comment and it'll stick. But you won't because you're not leaving a comment or anything. You know what I mean? You're just subbing to, oh, I subbed you and that's it. Just for gratification. But YouTube doesn't recognize gratification. It recognizes true communication with a channel. Leave a comment, like I said, whether it be nice or not, doesn't matter. Just like a thumbs up and a thumbs down doesn't matter. Same thing. Just um, trying to teach some of you that, you know, are getting into this racket. Do it the right way if you really want to do it the right way, <laughs> if that makes sense. This is definitely the most consistent I've been in a long time with my channel, so I'm really doing it right. Good morning, son. What's up, Dad? What is happening? <clears throat> I was fixing to get off here in a little bit, but we'll stay on for a little while since he just got here. I got to go pack up that soup and um, came out really good, man. 
delicious. You're going to love it. I left the skin on the potatoes, by the way. I don't know. Some people might like that, might not like it. But there's a lot of vitamins in the skin. That's why I left it in there. And uh, it was very, very good. I had, a, I had a little bit last night, late. It was very, very good. <clears throat> oh, excuse me. Oh, man. You know, I'm going to take a... Uh, Fiber. I'm gonna take my fiber gummies today. Let's do a red one and an orange one because I don't know the name of the flavors. It says peach, strawberry, and berry. <laughs> They're all fruity. Doesn't matter. That's fine. Can't wait to eat some. Yeah, I'll bring it. Um. How could I do it? Yeah, you know what I'll do? I'll bring it with me tomorrow because it's not it's gonna be cold. So I'll just leave it in the car. I'll leave it in Jerry's car. And uh, I'll bring it to the house. Because I gotta give her some and you some. Good boy. <laughs> What's up, Billy? What's going on, buddy? Good morning. Uh I didn't fall asleep until like two o'clock in the morning, so I missed the um, the boar's nest, man. I, I, I'm going to go back and rewatch the live later, though. I I, I wasn't making it, man. I, I couldn't sleep. I don't know if it was because just all the excitement yesterday or whatever, but I couldn't sleep. Two o'clock, I fell asleep. I had a bowl of my potato soup at like twelve thirty. Just woke up from a nap. I hear you. Naps are good. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to make the um, that. I don't think I'm going to make the pea soup until maybe Sunday or Monday because I need to get containers, and I'm not going to have anywhere to put the soup after I make it. If I make it today and then tomorrow, I get my treatment. So you know how I it could be, it could be 50, 50, 50. I'm either going to feel good or I'm not. So I'm not going to take a chance. Um, all the ingredients will stay okay until Sunday or Monday. Well, probably Monday I'll do it, Monday morning. <clears throat> so, yeah. No, I had some people that say, no, I can't wait to try the pea soup, but you're going to have to wait a little longer. It is what it is. I forgot that I had treatment. And like I said, if I feel good and I can get the containers um, tomorrow, then maybe I'll make it over the weekend. We'll see. But if not, you just have to wait till Monday. It's only a couple days. It ain't that big of a deal. Like I said, all the ingredients will stay fine. Refrigerator is freezing cold, so the veggies will stay good in the crisper drawer. The ham is the ham will stay fine for three weeks in there. It's friggin' enough ham, enough salt in it. So I know that'll be fine till Monday. But the potato soup came out fantastic. You're going to love it. Came out really good. Simple, but just full of flavor. Very simple. All I did was put an onion in there, one onion. Um, the ham. The ham, it, it just breaks up in your mouth. It's unreal. Came out so good. And I only cooked the soup for, what, Billy? I told you yesterday. I said another half an hour. I think I said I had to simmer on low. I think it was not even an hour and 15 minutes. Tops, maybe. You haven't said anything about what? Oh, no, no, no. I have not. No, no. And don't. No, still don't. Don't talk about it now either. Nope. Don't don't say anything here, pup. Don't. Because I just spoke to her and she wanted me. I gave her the link to the live, but she hasn't come in yet. She said she might come into the live. So. Shh. I hope you didn't either. Mm. Yeah, good. I've watched my father make soup, cook it all day till bones melt. Yeah, I really, to be honest with you, Billy, that's what I like to do. But I got such a late start yesterday, um, that I had to not rush it, but I was tired and I just I, I didn't want to have to 
just in case I laid under the blankets and I fell asleep. Next thing you know, it's friggin' is a cream soup too. If it was a regular, just you know, uh, like a whatever chicken base base or whatever, or just chicken soup, I don't mind. There would nothing would ever happen. But the cream base, man, I can get to a certain temperature and that shit will boil over, and I would have had a friggin' mess. So I was like, you know what, it, uh, bro, no for nothing. I think it's one of the best uh, potato soups I've ever made. It just it's so it was so simple. Like I said, I I had. Just one onion, the ham. The only other spices I put in was a very little bit of salt because uh, the, ha the ham had salt, but um, it needed a little bit after towards the end. Uh, black pepper and garlic powder. That's it. Oh, and um, I had a little bit of sodium from the uh, chicken base. I did chicken base and hot water was my main. And then I put in um, one quart of light cream. That was it. That was everything that was in it. So under six, seven ingredients. Just very, very simple, but very tasty. Like I said, I left the skin on the potatoes, but it's I ate, like I said, I ate a, I ate a I did not a bowl. I had like a, a red solo cup full <laughs> at like twelve thirty when I couldn't sleep. I had to try it. It was it was so good though. But those skins are like they just disintegrate in your mouth, you know. Just they're not chewy or nothing. Just really, really good. The the, the ham broke up so nice. I like the bones melt. <laughs> but yeah, if I had more time, like I said, when I do the pea soup, that will get a little more time because the more you could, you know, even just on, you put it on warm, like once it gets to a point, even on simmer last night, I noticed it was still like, you know, bubbling good on a, on the very lowest setting. Then I have another setting on the dial that can go to the warm and that was still having it bubble up a little bit. So it was, it was perfect. Story time. We were offshore for about five days. Father made soup. It sat in a corner on the stove. A flying fish flew into the pot of soup. He blamed it on me. Oh, wow. Yes, I did, Dad. Yep. So there's some chunky potatoes, and then I, I broke up some more of the other ones. So I used that as a starch to thicken it up, too. Really, really good, man. You're just, just wait. You're going to enjoy it. Trust me. I'll bring it tomorrow. You're going to love it. I wish everybody would be able to try it. Um, it didn't make as much as I thought. I'm probably going to get uh, four of these containers, probably. So it'll be one for you, one for uh, for Jerry Lynn. Uh, one I'm giving it to Julia. I'm going to hook up with her Saturday, go get a cup of coffee in the afternoon. And then probably one for me, which is enough. And then I'm going to make the pea soup, which will make about the same amount. So I'm happy with that. I don't I don't need a bunch of leftovers or anything. You know, I'd like to take if I can get if I can get like one more, like say I have one for me that I'll leave out for lunch and dinner one day, and then I'll, if I have one more for me, like to throw in the freezer, that'd be kind of cool. So I have it for another day, but it's all good. <coughs> oh, I know you're gonna like it. It's very very good. That's funny though, Billy. The odds of that happening, right? Freaking flying fish flew right into the pot of soup. That's nuts, man. I may. <sighs> Did Billy bring the clams? What's up, Jer? What's up, Marky Mark? What's going on, buddy? He said he didn't even say gigability. He said, "What's up, liability?" <laughs> Mary said, "I might make the ham, beans, and dumplings today. I drop the dumplings down in the soup, and it thickens the soup broth. Nice. That sounds really good, Mary. <clears throat> I sent Billy a uh, video of it of the soup boiling on the stove." He said it looked good. He wanted to uh, dunk his uh, sweaty Greek bread in it. <clears throat> I'll send you a video, uh, Mary. Actually, I'll send it right now, actually. Uh, where are we at? Right here. I took the video yesterday. It's pretty cool. Came out pretty good. You can see there's a little bit of oil on top. Why'd you say gross? I made I made I made um potato ham soup. There's a video right there. You can see me. I'm stirring it. I sent it to Billy. There was a there was a little film of grease on top, but that was because in the beginning I sauteed the um I sauteed the onions and a little bit of uh, a little bit of vegetable oil, but 
I'll tell you, as it cooked and everything, and it's like this morning, I don't, it's very, very little bit on top. But that's good, though. It's good flavor, actually. It's from the cream, too. The cream, you know, separates a little bit. Um, you can see my little uh, my little knife set up there to my sister. That's not the one that I used. My sister got me a better set than that. A very, very good set. That other one on the stove is just a little more of like a little novelty set of knives. Yeah, it came out really good, Mark. Right in the window, we were out back fishing. Dude, that's crazy. Oh, Mary said she makes her own dumplings, dude. That's cool. My dad makes a very good chicken soup. So does my dad. So he pops on the chat right there. He makes a hell of a freaking chicken soup, too. Very, very good. Simple, but so good. Uh, Mary, I'm going to send you the video right now. So you can look at it later. It's just like a, not even a minute long or whatever. It's not, it's not major. I sent you the I sent you the video. It's a minute and nine seconds long, Mary. That's all. Oh, who messaged me? Oh, sending video. No, I send it. Still sending you the video. It didn't go through yet. It'll go through. The sun is shining here. It looks like it's trying to come out here, but. From what my friend Julia said, she said it was nasty, cold, and windy. So I am not going anywhere today. The only place I'm going to go outside is I got to take the garbage out. We had snow showers this morning up in these parts there. Oh, really? Wow. Well, yeah, my friend said it was freezing cold. She goes to work super early. And she said it was really windy and super cold. That's good. Sun is shining. I took my meds, right? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Okay. Almost forgot if I did or not. We have about 636 subscribers right now with 391 videos. And I deleted about, I was over 400 and something videos. I deleted a bunch of them because they just were ones that I didn't get a lot of good views on. And I just got rid of them. Got 125 views yesterday in the afternoon. Cat has issues with dumplings. They piss her off. Really? I wonder why. That's kind of weird. The sun came out early this morning. Oh, okay. Yeah, I was sleeping. I woke up. It looked like the sun was shining through the window. So that was like 7 o'clock, 7.15, and then I went back to sleep. Uh. Don't mean to brag, but I love to cook. So do I. Me too, Mary. I mean, you know, I did it. I didn't do a lot of cooking. I mean, in my old, where I lived before, I did I did more. I do more cooking here now by myself because it's more cost efficient for me now. But um, I would make dinner on, like, my days off in the old place for me and my bud. I would cook dinner, whatever it was, whether it was something simple or something, whatever. We never ate anything that extravagant. But uh, we did have the grill right outside, and it was, like, underneath the overhang. So even if it was raining or snowing or whatever the case may be, I was still able to grill, which I, I, I missed that. But um, we have a grill here. But um, my buddy said once the weather gets nice, we'll be able, I can use it. So that's good. Um, watching your video now looks delicious. Cool. Thanks, Mary. I'm not trying to brag either, but, I mean, I think I'm a pretty good cook. I mean, I, I do it for a living. It's different when you're home, you know, you're in your slippers and sweatpants, you know what I mean? Just chilling, you know, you just have time. Like when you're, when I'm at work, I can have, I had one, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 18 burners 
And when I got there in the morning, I'd have probably 12 or 14 of, 14 of them going between like three or four different soups, uh, vodka sauce, French hay sauce, marsala sauce, all the, you know, all the mother sauces that we had that we needed. Um, I would get in and just have them all going, everything going. I'd have water on for pasta. I'd make penne. I'd make linguine. Um, just insane, you know. If I went back today, it would take me a week just to get back into the groove of how I was before. I mean, amazing. I mean, at 300 pounds, I was light on my toes in the kitchen. My boss would be amazed. Like, I don't know. He's like, Jared, I don't know how you get all this shit done as fast as you do. I said, I don't know. I'm good at what I do. That would be my only answer. I'm like, I'm good at what I do. I know your kitchen. You know, I can walk in. I can go in the walk-in, and everything's always in the same spot. I can go with my eyes closed and just know where to find cream, know where to find butter, know where to find the garlic. You know what I mean? Everything was always just in the same spot, organized. So, you know, I miss it. I love Marcella. Marcella's from the Food Network, right? Or no, I think. Why doesn't cat like dumplings? Said they piss her off. I wonder why. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> Thanks for the seven people in chat. Thirteen thumbs up. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna jump off here in about fifteen minutes, guys. We're gonna get off of here. That'll put us right under two hours. Trying to keep in my live, trying to keep the lives under two hours. I mean, once we start doing bingo and trivia, if it goes over, I don't care. But I try to keep them under two hours. Oh, you meant you meant to say Marsala sauce, not Marcella. Marsala, yeah. Marsala wine, mushrooms. Sometimes they fall apart. Sometimes they're slimy. Sometimes they're right. But she has issues with him, with them, and we love dumplings. Oh, okay. Yeah. We used to sell a lot of them at the one restaurant uh, I worked at that closed in 2015. We sell, they used to actually make them fresh back in the day and steam them to order. Chicken French has thumbs down. You never had mine, Mark. My French hay sauce is wicked good. <clears throat> I'm not a huge fan of chicken French has either, but every once in a while I like it. And only mine. Mine or my boss's? I mean, our sauces are very... Listen, he taught me his recipe, obviously. We had to be consistent, but he was happy with mine, which was very, very close to his. Maybe a very different, very, very small difference, but um, very good. Give me the chicken palm 10 out of 10 times. That's like my buddy Rob, man. He'll, he'll go to a new place to eat, and that's the first thing he'll try is a chicken palm. Me, I go to a new place to eat. I don't care where it is, what it is, fancy or not. I want to try a burger because if a restaurant can make a good burger, that means they can make a good anything. And that's that's little words of wisdom. If a place can make a good burger and they're known for, oh, we're known for our seafood. We're known for this. We're known for that. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll let you know. Give me a burger, medium rare. And if you can make that right, then I'll try your salmon next time. Don't put salt in them. Makes them cook apart. Dumplings, that is. I, okay. The amount of mozzarella I eat is absurd. <laughs> I like how you spelled that too. Mozzarella. <clears throat> yeah, I'll, uh, I'll say this. Since I was um, not working, I don't eat as much mozza as I, as I was before. I didn't eat a lot before either. I'm not a, I'll be honest with you, Mark. It's crazy, but I'm not a, I don't go out of my way to eat prosciutto. I don't go out of my way to eat friggin' uh, gabagool, mozzarella. I'm simple when it comes to a sandwich. Uh, I'd rather have mortadella, lettuce, red onion, mayo, salt, pepper, and I'm good. Like that's just me. I don't even like tomatoes, except they're if they're from my dad's garden or they're Jersey tomatoes. Other than that, I don't like tomatoes on a sandwich. I think it's gross. Uh, that's how we do it in Jersey. No, you're right. But I'm like I said, I don't go gaga over. The people would come in. You, I'd see them ordering like, "Can I have a prosciutto, fresh mozzarella, roasted peppers?" Like. Like, it's their first time ever having an Italian sandwich, you know? And it's cliche, like prosciutto, fresh mozz, roasted peppers, balsamic. Like, okay, man. I've seen it a billion times. Like, <clears throat> then you get the ones that you know are like veterans, you know? They come in and they're like, all right, I want uh, hot super sod, uh, vinegar peppers, uh, 
You know what I mean? Sharp from alone. That's just like that's now you're getting into a really good sandwich. You know what I mean? That you, you know your flavors, you know what goes good together. You know. Some people, like I said, are just they're new to the scene and they're like, oh, I want to have the cliche sandwich. You know, give me prosciutto, fresh mozzarella roasted peppers, and balsamic. I made a sandwich like that one day. I'm gonna tell you what, I didn't like it. I just I'm not a big prosciutto fan. I don't like the texture. I don't I don't like uh, much about it, to be honest. I'd rather have mortadella, really good mortadella. I'd rather have that. Because I love bologna. So I guess that's why. But I don't either, but I love fresh mud's basil tomato. Yeah, that's good too. Super sod is awesome. Yeah, like like my boss gets really good ones. Like he'll get like the coke, you know, the ones you slice, and then he'll get like this the, the skinnier ones, you know, that hang. You hang them on the on the things and dry them out. Like the uh, salamis and those I really like. Pizza game, yeah. Mm -hmm. Actually, I was hoping he had some when I went to go pick up that stuffed bread with my dad for Easter. He didn't have any. He sold out. He had pizza game, pizza dolce, um, pizza grana. He had so many of them. He either makes them or has them. He'd come in from uh, the city from a couple of these Italian distributors or whatever. But a lot of times he'll make his own. But he ran out. He said he made so many during the week, and they just sold out. Got a nice chunk with all the meat ends cut up with ricotta, egg, and oh yeah, that's good. I like that. You know, that's so rich though. You know, you have one slice and you're like, all right, I'm good till next year. You know, you don't want to eat it again. Pizza game's really good. I like it too. Yeah, the pizza grana is nice. That's what the um, I forget what it's called. They put in there. It's like a grain. Um, I don't know. It's just the grain. I, I don't know what it's called, but my boss he he, made, he makes it phenomenal too. Got it from the bakery. It's expensive per pound, but good thing it was free. Yeah, that's the same thing with me. I mean, I got lucky because I worked there. So he would he would make when he made the pizza um, the pizza game. He would make the big ones, and then he had these little shells. He would make me like a little one, you know. So I had for me personal. So I would heat it up before I went home, wrap it in aluminum foil. It would be hot when I got home, and it's good to eat cold too. Some people like it cold. Some people like it hot. I mean, I like it either way. <clears throat> He does, uh, my boss does something that you don't see very often everywhere. He does pork loin uh, every Tuesday. Something he started many, many years ago when we were still in the little deli on the other end of town. He was just a deli with catering. I mean, a shit ton of catering. And um, it was put, it's called Pork Tuesday. So it's it's the big full, you know, you buy a restaurant at Depot Mart, the full pork loins, marinated like soy sauce. I did so many things, honey. I can't even get into how many. There's a, there's a bunch of ingredients in the marinating process and then you put it all in there when you cook it comes out slice it on a slicer put it on italian bread you, you dip it in that juice so people some people go i want double dip so you double dip the bread and dip, dip the meat once you slice it fresh mutts and that's it but it's like 13 dollar sandwich you know what i mean it's crazy and he'll have lines out the door on a tuesday now he does tuesday and saturday but when it was tuesday in the old place there used to be a line all the way down the block man insane and it's another one. I didn't go Gaga over, but like once a month, I'd be like, all right, I want to make either a platter if I wasn't into the bread or I'd make a sandwich. When I first got to work, I'd pull it off the steam table. It'd still be warm. I'd make the sandwich, wrap it up. I'd wrap it in plastic wrap, then aluminum foil or paper, whatever. And then I would eat it when I got home. It would be like a little soggy. Oh, it was so freaking good, man. I get prosciutto from Wally World. <laughs> there you go. How is it? Do they have, they have a decent prosciutto there? I know a lot of the supermarkets still have uh, they'll have it behind the deli, but then they'll have like these other packs where it's already sliced in between like wax paper. You got to marinate a pork loin good for me to enjoy it. Mark, I'm telling you, bro, if you come up this way and we meet up one day, try to do it on a Tuesday and we'll go down here, man. And hopefully um, everything's good financial with me, man. I'll treat you to a uh, pork and mutts, man. You'll love it. I'm telling you, you'll fall in love with it. You'll drive down here, man, once a month to get it. That's, that's how good it is. Mm, pork chops. I only like breaded and Ritz crackers and dipped in Saucy Susan. Saucy Susan's good. I've had that a long time. If it's not breaded, then it's always dry to me. Would rather have chicken cutlets. Okay, that makes sense. I got you. I mean, I do I do pork chops, but I told you we were talking about it yesterday. Those big ones with that like that center bone. I do them on the grill. They they come out great. 
I get prosciutto from Wally World. So I ask him, how is it? He goes, sometimes it tastes tastes like a box. But see, that's what that's what prosciutto to like. All right, so you have prosciutto, and then you have what's called prosciutini, which is almost like a fake prosciutto. You could find that most of the time. That one, the outside of it is all full of like friggin' peppercorns and shit. It's gross. I don't like it. Um, and I think that's what ruined it in the past for me. But I remember being a kid going to my grandmother's house. We talked about this like on Christmas and whatever Christmas Eve, any holidays. And on the adults' table, she would always have the antipasto. And my my grandma, she would have prosciutto in there and gabagool, you know, hot and sweet, super sad, you know, all that stuff. So I remember eating that as a kid, you know, five, six, seven, ten, whatever years old. And uh, I just never was into prosciutto. I don't know why. My dad likes pork chops and apple squash. Sometimes it tastes like box. That is freaking hilarious, dude. Prosciutto to me, too salty, but. If put on a cracker with some apricot jam and a piece of cheese, yeah. See, now you're talking. You know, I don't know. I still, I'm still not. I'm just not a fan. Not a huge fan. Anyway, I'd rather have like a, like I said, a, a hot super salad. I like. If I'm just gonna pick on, you know, a couple slices of cold cut, that I'll, I like that. You know, or like I said, the the ones that you buy, like they're in the, like the almost like a sausage or pepperoni, the ones you dry out. Dry sausage or whatever. They have um, hot super sod and regular super sod, hot uh, salami. The those are good, man. Those like on a crudite platter at a party or something, dude. They're they're good, man. They go over very well. Got to balance out that sodium. Yeah, it's just not. It's not even that either, to be honest. I just I'm just not. I don't know. I'm just not a fan, bro. It's weird. Never was. I don't go gaga over it. There's certain things that I just don't like in this world, as far as you know, food wise. I just don't go gaga over. He said, yep, good shit. Yeah. I like those, you know. Those dried the dried salami, the dried sausages and stuff. Those are those are really good. And but when I eat that, I don't even like mutts with that. I like uh like a um, a good um aged pecorino or um what did I say before? Uh the one cheese I said before, shit, I can't remember. My memory sucks. Billy likes a good piece of sausage, Italian sausage. Uh, Locatelli is very good. I like that on top of pasta. Very good. Very, very good. Looks It's expensive, but it's good. I bread pork chops, brown them in oil, bake in oven with salt, garlic powder, pepper, splash of water. They melt in your mouth. Yeah, that sounds great. See, what I do, I, I, when I lived in the other place, we had this... Um, all right, for one, we had a flat top in the middle where I would make pancakes and stuff, like a little flat griddle in the middle of the stove. But we had this, it had a handle on it, and it was flat. I don't know if you've ever seen them. It's like an indoor grill, grill, griddle, nonstick. And it had the lines. So I would marinate the pork chops or whatever. I would sear them on that, get all the juices in, put it in in, in a um, big pan, you know, deep a deep pan. I would put them in there with a rack and I'll put them on top of the rack so they don't sit in their own juices. I'll put them on the rack. I'll put a little bit of stock on the bottom. I'll cover them with aluminum foil tight and then let them steam in there for, I don't know, at like 375 for 45 minutes an hour that I take the top off. And I'm telling you what, you would think that amount of time they would get dry. They were juicy. My buddy loved them, man. He wouldn't even talk. We'd sit there, we'd watch an efficient video on YouTube. I'd have the laptop on the table and we'd eat. We wouldn't even talk, man for like a half an hour just eat fucking amazing i think it's it all starts with that searing in the beginning and that and that indoor grill thing sear the juices then throw it in the oven and then you know in the oven slow for like an hour they just would fall off the bone i mean literally fall off the bone and that's hard for a pork chop i, used to, I tell my dad all the time i would do that and i would do the uh, chicken thigh same way same exact way i do it on the grill pan throw them in the oven those I wouldn't use a rack. Those I would let them just sit in their juices because all the fat would be dripping off from the skin. And most of the time, I would cut the, the top layer of skin off the uh, chicken thighs, and then just all the other skin, you know, around it would be the good fat. And um, I would do the chicken thighs same way. We found this one good spice. I don't know if you guys seen it. I'm sure it's pretty famous. Uh, McCormick. Um, they have chicken and steak. Um, it's not a marinade. It's, it's a dry, like a rub. 
I forget I forget what it's called exactly. Uh, beef. Uh, I think it was called McCormick's beef marinade blend or something like that. I, I have to I have to take a look. I might have a picture on my phone. I'm not sure, but I would use that. If I did the chicken, I would use the chicken one. And if I did the pork chops, believe it or not, I would use the beef one because they didn't have a pork flavored one. I'd use the, the beef one. And it had a whole different blend of seasonings. And I'll tell you what, it was really, really good. Billy, me and Jared talk more in 30 seconds than someone from the South talks in 30 minutes. <laughs> that's true. Nah, that's what I do. I, I love to talk. I gotta, I gotta go pack up all these. Uh, I gotta plug in my laptop. It's gonna die any second. Um, I gotta go pack up this soup, wash that pot. I got a bunch of. I didn't even wash the dishes last night, man. I was so tired. I just got into bed and left the soup on the stove and I let it cool off overnight. And then the dishes I made were all still in the sink, so I have to go wash all my dishes. What are you gonna do? You know? Yeah. How you doing? How you doing? Jabba Joe's. <laughs> it's just a, it's an East Coast thing, I guess. I don't know. It's like where we live. That's what we do. We talk. We talk with our hands, too, sometimes. <laughs> oh, me. I'm not looking forward to I'm looking forward to tomorrow so I can see my sister and then my family afterwards. But I'm not looking forward to going to this treatment. I'm really not. I said I just got poked and prodded. I don't even know where they're going to put an IV in me. All my veins are friggin' horrible. I'm sure they'll find somewhere, but <sighs> that's just how it is. Yeah, and when we say how you doing, we don't really care how you doing. It's more of a, just a salutation. <laughs> Oh, speaking of that, Dad, what happened to you last night? I thought you were coming to us. Skipjack Cindy's. You never showed up. I actually, I actually went in there on Outdoors for Life because I knew if you came in, you would come in under my my channel name, NJ Mafia. <laughs> yeah, we don't talk about that, Mary. It's like you don't talk about Fight Club. We don't talk about the Mafia. Shrimp in three nights, pup. Leave at 5.30. I'll be home about three. Mm -hmm. But I went last night, Dad. It was cool. I texted you, too. I don't know if you got it. I texted you to remind you, but maybe you didn't get it. I don't know. <laughs> I know. I better ask to get you. <laughs> That's funny, Mary. Yeah, we don't talk. We don't talk about Fight Club. Oh man, I hear you, Marky Mark. I hear you. I've been in association with you through the years, and uh, it's not my cup of tea. I'm not. I'm not. A, I'm not a full-blooded Italian anyway, so never would have worked for me. Billy is an animal with the shrimp. And I watched just a little video on his channel the other day, man. That's that's hard work, man. It looks, that's, that looks like some really hard work. I don't I don't think I'd be able to do it. I do believe we will be fishing next week. That's awesome, man. I hope so. So we can actually do the uh, stream yard next week. Come on up and watch you doing a little fishing in the morning. That'd be awesome, bro. I would quit after a half hour. Yeah, me too, probably. Yeah. <clears throat> this looks like a lot of work, man. And don't get me wrong, my job, you know, when I'm busy, you know, it's not an easy job either. But I guess like anything else, you know, he he's been doing it for years, you know. He he knows how he's just used to it, I guess. I mean for us it would be something new, Mark, you know, we don't we never did it before, so Probably cool just to do it once, just to say I did it, and then probably say I'll never do it again. 
was kind of like my dad's friend Tony. He does uh he he does grease traps and stuff. My dad did it at seventy years old, seventy one years old, all day long, freaking putting up the hose and all. And it's heavy, man. This hose is heavy, and you have to wrap it the the truck. You know, every stop you go to, and then you got to run it into the store, whether it's behind in the back, this that, doing grease traps. My dad did seventy one. I did it twice. I told him I'm never doing it again, ever. Too much work, way too hard to work. I I. I got home, I hit the shower, and I hit my bed, and I was out like a light, dude. I said, never again am I doing that shit. And my dad did it at 71 years old. God bless him. And he loved it. I don't know about love it, but he was good at it. I didn't see anything, was too worried about the rain, but thank God, no water in the basement. Yeah, that's that doesn't, yeah, exactly. Don't worry about it. She'll be live again. Um, I'll let you know. She said she'll let me know, or Billy will know, and he'll let me know. I think they might do a pop-up Friday night, I think uh, Travis said. But that'd be cool. If they do on Friday night. I know I'm going to be watching uh, wrestling, but I'll have them on in the background. Really fun. I was there for a couple hours. That it was fun, man. We had a good. They didn't catch anything. She said that uh, Cindy said Travis got one channel cat after she left, and it was off off camera. Did 24 stops all by myself. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to do that shit ever again. I didn't. I didn't like it at all. It sucked. Dirty, freaking full of grease. At the end of the day, just. Yeah. It's good for the owner because he's making the money. But tough work. Very, very tough work. I don't think many people go there to see the fish. They just go there to laugh. <laughs> yeah, a lot of fun. I'm telling you, I had a blast, man. I really did. It was fun. Really good time. Everybody's hilarious, man. And that whole that whole otter thing, man, that's, that cracks me up, man. Dude got th over 30-plus subscribers. Has no content. Gained 30-plus subscribers last night in that live and has no content. Not one video on the channel. That's awesome. Cracked me up, man. That's why I said to us, you guys can sub to me too, please. I have content. <laughs> work is good for you. Yeah, but that work sucked. Don't get me wrong, that like you said it before, I don't know, you know, you might have been able to do that, but I don't think you can do what I did, you know, every day in the, in the kitchen, especially on a Friday, Saturday, super busy, tickets coming in like crazy, dining room full of people, freaking sickening, being busy working on tickets and freaking having my boss come in and go, I have a special table, like, all right, I have 15 tables I'm working on right now, Bill, at the same time, and you're going to tell me, oh, your cousin's here, and I need, I need to stop what I'm doing to cook his food, like... You know, that's that kind of shit, you know, like I don't wish upon anybody. Trust me, cooking, cooking at that level is not a, well, it's, I love, I love it. Trust me, but I've been doing it for so long. I'm used to it. You know, the busier it is, the, the, the happier I am. Believe it or not. I love it when it's busy. It's so much fun. But yeah, that shit was hilarious, Billy. I had a really, I had a really fun time, man. It really was a good time. Cindy's cool. Travis is funny as hell too. He just like he'll say he'll say his little things in the middle of like you know she she reads every comment, almost every comment you know, and then he'll comment on a few things. It's pretty cool, man. Cool channel. I had a lot of fun. No way, I love to cook, but not like that. Yeah, a lot of people feel the same way. I enjoy it though. It's it's just it's what I do, you know. I really enjoy it at that level. Like, I love the busier, the better. And my boss, Billy, he would say that to me, too. You love it when it's busy, don't you? I, say, I fucking love it. One the time goes by, I get to go home. Your subbing thing to Otter was hilarious, dude. It, more than hilarious. It was insane, dude. Uh, Randy said he was going to come here today, too. I'm shocked. He said it about five times in that live, too. I'll see you tomorrow in your live. I'll see you tomorrow in your live. And I haven't seen him. So, I don't know. Maybe he'll be in the afternoon live. Because he subbed to my channel, left a comment, and said, I'll uh, I'll be there in the morning. Or I, Yeah, I think so. I think he said, I'll see you in the morning. Or he said it in the live. I don't remember. But I know he said it a few times. But I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. One of the one of the only people that really said it, like, a bunch of times. But it is what it is. No worries. But that was funny as so. hell. Every per, every new person that was not new, but every person that was coming in, the one dude kept saying, "Are, are you sub to Otter? Are you sub to Otter Cat? Are you sub to Otter Cat?" 
<laughs> Dude, I was laughing my ass off. Yeah, it makes being busy up. Yep. Definitely. Definitely. You know, I have to I have to say I was blessed with a with a really good crew that uh listened to me. You know, because I was the head guy, you know, and uh they would they would listen to me when I said something, especially when it was super busy. You know, they would try to everybody tried to prove themselves to me pretty much. And I would be like, listen, just do what I ask. <sighs> do it right, you know. Don't don't try not to mess up, but it's human. Like I get it. But if it's something I don't like, they would always like he would always show me the one kid that worked with me. He would show me every plate that he put out. And um, I, I did appreciate that of him because I told him if I don't like what it looks like and it's not up to my standards, it wouldn't go out and you're making it again. And I was I'm not an asshole about it. I'm just I, I know the quality that I want to go out to the customer because at the end of the day, 99 percent of the time when they know, oh, well, Gerald blah, 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 is the chef back there. It reflects on me and it reflects on the owner. It doesn't reflect on a kid that's working beside me, you understand? So my name was on the line a lot. So I didn't I didn't want food to go out that wasn't to my standard. But the kid I worked with, he was good. Uh, he understood how I wanted things. And if I had to show him a couple times, he got it. And I liked that about him. And when I was, when I was getting slammed, um, I didn't like anybody coming, especially my boss. I'd be like, dude, he would come in the kitchen. Jerry, you need a hand? I'm like, get out. I don't need you here right now. Go away. And uh, he knew what I meant. And the one kid, if if I asked him, he otherwise he would stand there if he had nothing else to do. If there were no to-go orders or whatever, and I was just getting hit with all my orders, he would come over and chef, you know, do you need a hand? I'm like, no, I'm good. You know, if I said, yeah, okay, give me a hand. Go grab this. Go grab that. Like, uh, make sure your station's full or whatever because we're going to get hit again in an hour. Like, they understood. I did appreciate that about that I had the workers that I had working with me. The one kid was amazing, Angel. Good kid. I just saw him the other day when they go pick up bread. So when are you coming back to work, Chef? I said, I don't know. I said, no. Hopefully somewhere down the line. But, you know, I miss it. I miss working with him. He's a good kid. Oh, I know you love to cook. Sure. But, uh, yeah, I miss it. I just miss doing specials, you know, and coming up with my own ideas. Like, I, I just love doing that shit, man. I miss it a lot. You know, me and my boss, you know, like coming up with shit together. Like he's always all over the place, you know. He's like, that's why I love when you're here, Jerry. He goes, because I can go out and do what I do best and is go get go get more business. You know, he's like, when you're here, I don't worry. Because he knows I'll take care of the back, I'll take care of the front. I know how to control the girls in the front, the bar, if something went wrong. Like I knew I knew the whole store, you know, I knew the whole restaurant. So he really appreciated when I was there because He'd be like, all right, I can get out of here for two hours and go network somewhere, you know, and go get more business, go get more catering, go, you know, because he's good at that. He's very good at networking and, you know, always getting more new business. So it's not just a cooking plating. Yes, exactly. That's why I would have the kid Angel show me every plate because there were certain ways I wanted a salad plate. There were certain ways I wanted appetizers. You know, I would do whatever. I'm just going to make an example. I had a one night, um, he bought these baby microgreens. So I did a baby, baby microgreen salad over these um, heirloom tomatoes and uh, see this cucumber, very small. I had them nice. I wanted them sliced a certain way. Nothing super fancy, not five star, just nice, you know, nice presentation with a piece of grilled octopus uh, that I merited. Very nice appetizer. You know, I was getting like, I don't know, $16 a plate for an appetizer, you know, for a piece of a piece this big of octopus. And, um, I showed him one, two, three times, and uh, every one he put out, like on a Saturday night, I would sell 20, 30 specials, and everyone go out beautiful. But he would always show me, here, chef. He would, I'd be like, okay, good, send it. You know, If I didn't like it, I'd be like, listen, put it down, start over. Replayed it. You know, I told you I wanted it this way. And I've worked with some chefs that would fucking throw the plate across the room. Do it again. And just fucking be an asshole. But I'm not that way, you know, because, you know, you lose the respect of your workers that way. You know, so I, I always treated the guys great, and I never looked at it as – um Oh, I gotta run. I'm off to see the wizard. Catch you guys. All right, later, Mark. Yeah, I'm gonna. Jump. I gotta jump off here too. I said 15 minutes, and I'm still rambling. I want to go get the soup put away and take a shower, and I got a bunch of shit to do today. Had a nice piece of octopus the other day. Nice. Now I'm not Gordon Ramsay, man. I'm just me, but I like things done a certain way. You know, especially like a lot of times, the specials I have in my mind. You know, the way I. Before I even get to work, I already know what I had planned in my head of how I want it plated, how I want things to go out. And I like consistency. I don't like one to look beautiful and one to look like shit. 
because it's, then it's not going to go out, you know. So I had him trained to, okay, chef, how's it look? Beautiful. Bellissimo. Send it out. And he'd be so happy, you know. So it's, it's gratification for the worker too, you know, not only for me and my boss, but for them too. So it came from Wally World. Wow. <clears throat> but uh, all right, we're almost at two hours, guys. I, I told you I want to keep it under two and I got to go do some stuff. So I'm going to jump off here. Uh, I'm going to see if I'm live later on. I should be. I'll try. If I do, probably around three or so. I'll try for a little while, see if I get a notification. Uh, just keep your, keep your eyes out or look for me at three o'clock or so. And uh, maybe 3.30. I don't know. We'll see. But, um, yeah, look for me. If I don't get a notification, just find me. You know, I'll be live. So I appreciate you guys. I hope you have a great day. Pop, I'll talk to you later. Thanks, Billy, Mark, Mary. Thank you for being here, everybody. We cook it a little longer, and it was perfect. Oh, awesome. Okay, I'm out, too. Stay safe. Take care. Later, Gator. Later, Gators. Have a good day. Pop, I love you. I'll talk to you in a little while. Um, if I don't, call me later on. All right, because I'm going to be getting into the soup and everything and washing dishes and hop on a shower. So give me a buzz later on. All right. Love you guys. And uh, catch you on a flip. Peace.